So here I've got OmniFocus open and empty. Now in our sidebar, you can see all these areas that we'll be looking at through this series. We'll look at them one at a time and see how they can all come together to help you get to and stay on top of your game. Before we go further, let's make sure that we have our settings lined up. Let's look at your preferences. To do that, you can use the key command, command, comma. Across the top, we'll see a number of tabs that we can select. The one we're interested in now is the Organization tab. Go there now. And select for the cleanup inbox items which have the option of a project. There are a number of other options possible, and you can always change this later. But for our demonstration here, let's select a project. When you're done, close it out. I'm going to close our sidebar with Option Command S. As we go to each perspective, we'll take a look at its view settings. OmniFocus is very customizable. We only need to do it once. To see your view settings, hold Shift Command V. And while you're here, choose Fluid. Then press Save. When you're done, you can either select Shift Command V again or simply click away. Now that we're here at the inbox, let's approach it with the mindset that'll help you get to where you want to go. Think about a problem that you have, something that's been on your mind or has been bugging you. It could be something big, it could be something small. It could be something you're interested in doing or something you've been trying to avoid. Whatever it is, it's something that's been on your mind. And we can use that idea, that thing, for our example here. Feel free to pause here for a moment to get that pictured in your mind. Take the time you need. Once you do have that idea, think about a small, concrete step that'll help move it forward. Something you can actually see yourself doing. It could be opening an empty document, finding a specific file, drafting an email, making a phone call, among many other possibilities. If something's been stopping you from doing whatever it is that you have in mind, ask yourself what that something might be. The answer to that question often can lead to a good next action. And you might have to keep going backward, asking yourself, what's stopping me from doing that? As an example, let's say I need to get the fireplace cleaned. And I think, oh, I need to call the person who does that. Who cleans chimneys? Oh, well, I know that there's somebody that our association uses. Well, I need to find out who that might be. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I need to ask my neighbor for that name and number. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I need to text message my neighbor for that name and number. Ah, that's the next step. Keep going backward, asking, what do I need for this to happen, for that to happen, until you hit something you can clearly see yourself doing, even if that's just getting something out of a drawer. Now, this is the mindset that I want to help you get to when you're approaching a task manager or just writing something down that you need to do. Now, I'll use as an example for myself here something where I, I just want to make my living room look nice. And I have to think, what do I need to do to do that? What's one small thing that I can actually picture myself doing to move that idea forward? Well, I can start by picking things up on the dining table. I can picture myself picking up an individual item at one end, thinking about a good home for it, creating a home for it as I need, and then working towards the other end of the table, finding other homes for each item as I go. Now. That might take some time. So what I'm going to do is write start picking up dining table. I hit return to start a new task. I write start picking up dining table. I didn't even write pick up dining table because for me, that feels a bit too overwhelming. For all I know, it's going to take a very long time to find that first thing at home. Now, I suggest that you write your tasks 
with that small thing you can envision and start it with an action verb. You can use something like the words write, call, draft, develop, continue. Here I've used the word start. So think about that concrete thing that'll help you move forward in your problem or your interest. Add it here and then hit return. If you'd like to pause now and come back here when you're ready with something, go ahead and do so now. So far, we've done barely more than an introduction. We've barely touched OmniFocus. But again, we're getting into the mindset. In our next video, we'll start getting into projects.